15,000 bucks. That's how much it costs each household for the $1.7 trillion in corporate bailout so far this year. Now, would we be better off getting that money ourselves instead? Joining the debate, Larry Wingett. He is author of People Are Idiots, and <laughs> I Can Prove It. But first off, we go to Matt McCall. You think this makes sense? Yeah, I don't think the Americans are idiots, and I want to give them money. I think the corporations that they want to give the money to are the idiots. Why give it to people that have blown the money already? Give it to the Americans, let them go out there and spend. This money is going to trickle down into the economy and create its own stimulus instead of giving it to the fat cats who are going to blow it again. I don't know. Gary B. has the government done such a bad job? Well, I, I tell you what, in, in this regard, I, I sort of agree with, with Matt. I think they've done a bad job, and then I think they're missing the mark. Look, if you get the $15,000, you're going to go out and spend the 15000 When you're done with it, that's the end of it. Better solution, cut taxes. Then I have an incentive to work further and more and generate more money both for the, the government and pump it back into the economy. So the 15000 is a one-stop, uh, you know, a, a gap thing, and I, I wouldn't do it. Okay, Larry, get the government involved the most times you get a mess. What about if you give the money to us? Well, I think it's a great idea for a lot of reasons, mainly because consumer confidence is down and we have lost confidence in the government. You give people back their own money, that $15,000 back, and they're going to feel powerful again. They're going to have a little more confidence that they are in control of their tax dollars instead of the feds. And uh, I do believe it will trickle down. Retail will do better. Credit card companies might get a payment or two. Maybe people will make a mortgage payment. Maybe they'd save a little. All right, th Tobin, there, there's a different way than, than spending this way. Well, Larry, you're not getting my fifteen thousand dollars. I'm getting your kids or your grandkids fifteen thousand bucks. Because of course we're borrowing the money. Number one, number two, we're in a deflationary time when things are going down in price. The smart idea is to hold on to cash, not to go out and spend. Americans are smarter than you give them credit for. All right, Eric, send each household a fifteen k check. No, no. Listen, this is all about time. You heard the five stages of grief or be bereavement. There's yeah. denial. There's anger. There's bargaining. There's depression and acceptance. We're in the depression. We've all we've been Bargain? through the anger. Yeah, bargaining is, yeah. is it going to be a bailout? Is it going to be uh -huh. a bridge loan? Is it going to be okay. a bankruptcy? We've done that. We're now in depression where anything that comes out makes the market go down. Once we get through that, when Main Street and Wall Street both throw the towel in, yeah. then it's over and you can step in and buy some stocks. Until then, stay out. Pat, these kind of like stimulus checks, which essentially that would be, don't often work. Well, yeah. Uh, didn't we try this about yeah. six months ago? Have we all <laughs> forgotten how really well that worked? And I mean, in fact, the statistics showed that around three quarters of that was either saved or used to pay down debt, was not used to spend and stimulate the economy. So if you do want to stimulate the economy, this is, number one, not the way to do it. Okay, Larry, I've got to give you the last word because basically we're not asking um, if we should do it, but should we give it to the government or should we give it to the guys and gals? And bottom line, what do you say? Bottom line, if we have to choose between the two, I'd give it to the people. I know we're not going to do it. That's why it's easy to be for it. But it's certainly a better idea than giving it to the government because they haven't made a good decision so far with the money that they've been passing out in the bailouts. Give it to people. All right. Thanks, guys. Up next, you want to help turn around this market and economy? Then go out. Shop till you drop. Why, someone here says it's your patriotic duty. But Larry Wingett has something else to say. And you know he doesn't mind saying what he thinks. He's here, and this you gotta hear. So even with Friday's big rally, the Dow's still tumbling 5% for the week. While November retail sales are expected to be the weakest in nearly 40 years, both sending the economy in the tank, and Americans, boy, we're running for cover. But Matt says, don't be scared. Go out and shop for the good of the country. Larry Wingett, though, he's, uh, he's taking off that shirt he's got. He's so mad. He thinks Matt's crazy. Now, I know you're about to explode, but uh, Matt, we get you first. What, why, why shop till you drop? Well, first of all, I mean, who doesn't like shopping? Get a little smile on your face, get out there, have a cup of Starbucks, and, and spend some money. But really what it's going to do is it puts money back into the economy. It's almost like a, a stimulus plan traded by the Americans themselves putting money into retailers that then trickles down to the manufacturers and it really just takes this cash that we're sitting on we're hoarding right now putting back into the market and there are deals out there right now too i heard that they're gonna have a 50 inch tv for 700 dollars if you're gonna what? buy a tv anyway go out there and do it now support the local retailers well larry um this is about confidence and if we do show confidence that is patriotic isn't it this is the dumbest idea i've ever heard really, I <laughs> tell us what you <laughs> really think 
What I really think <laughs> is that I don't know where he's talking about all the people with all this cash that they're hoarding. I get emails every day. People are uh, strapped. And most people haven't paid for last year's Christmas shopping. They got no money to go pay for this year's Christmas shopping. They got no money set aside for an emergency, no savings at all. They don't have any cash hoarded. People are in trouble. They're trying to figure out how to hold on to their house and, and make their car payment. They don't have the money, the extra money, to go out there and do a lot of holiday shopping right now. It's a dumb idea. I understand retailers are in, prob are in trouble, but come on, Matt. Yeah, but you can't, what's happening is people like, like you, Larry, keep saying this, and people are so scared right now. I've talked to several people this week that have money, and they say to me, I'm not spending. I should sit on my money. I should keep it all. I should even put it in a bank right now because they're scared to death of what's happening. Get out there and spend. This world is not going to an end. And, Larry, I want to know where you bought that shirt because that's the first place I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> go to my website. I'll tell you where I get yeah, these Yeah, well, shirts. there we go, Larry. But, again, it's confidence, confidence. We, if we show confidence, it's going gonna, it's gonna to trickle down through the economy. You know, I'd like for people to show a little confidence in their own ability to rein in their spending. It was reckless spending that got them in trouble to begin with. Show confidence in yourself and your own ability to save some money. I believe cash is king, and it doesn't hurt for people to hang on to it. Matt, if you're talking to people who have money, you've got a better circle of friends and got better <laughs> people writing you and talking to you than I do. I'm talking to people who don't have any money. All right, well, I'm heading to your website, and you know what? If it's patriotic, I think you're pretty smart. I'm going to go to Walmart, and I'm wearing my flag on my 